Luigi is not afraid. And they all died. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching Let's Play Mario Tennis. Goodbye. Okay, but seriously, I really don't think I'm going to even call this a Let's Play. Originally, I was going to. But after seeing how redundant it would be to try to unlock everything. Because if I were to do, do a an official Let's Play of this game, I would try to unlock everything. And that being these two missing characters here, these, these uh, stars are secret characters that we don't have unlocked yet. And there are also a bunch of um, courses we can unlock, uh, along with actually many other things. There are a lot of unlockables in this game, as there are with other Mario Sports games. And Mario Spinoffs in general, really. But in order to unlock all that, it would take a long time and a lot of playthroughs of the tournament mode in this game which which initially is what I'm gonna be focusing on in this little series of let's mess around on Mario Tennis that's what I'm gonna call this is let's mess around on Mario Tennis and this may expand and grow depending on how well this goes how much you guys like it how much I like it and yeah so for right now, the plan is for the main focus of this little series, and this is kind of a side project alongside Twilight Princess, uh, is to focus on the tournament mode, the single player tournament mode. You can do doubles and singles of the tournament mode. And I will also show off some mini games like the Piranha Challenge and the Ring Shot Challenge. And maybe eventually I'll do something with friends. I might. Tr I'll hopefully try to get a friend to do the doubles tournament with me, but it just depends on if somebody is willing to commit enough time. So we'll we'll see about that. And feel free to speak up if you want to see more Mario Tennis or not. If you are enjoying this series, or you know if you're not enjoying it, <laughs> and I wouldn't bl blame you either way. So. Um, so we'll see what I do, what happens as far as unlocking more stages and characters go. But for right now, I'm just gonna stick with the main tournament mode. So without further ado, let's start that up. And again, we're doing singles. Actually, can I do doubles one player? Shoot, I thought I could only do that two player. I'll have to check that out later. I'm just gonna go with singles right now though. And and really, if you know, even if I were to do doubles, I would rather do it with the friend, like an actual friend, playing with me instead of playing with the computer, but that just, I don't know, it just feels like it'd be more fun that way. So, like, as you can see, we're doing the Mushroom Cup to start us up, so this is very much familiar from anyone who's played Mario Kart, and the tournament mode in this game is split off into three different cups, the Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, and the Star Cup, and I'm going to be playing through all three of those, there are three rounds. And I'm going to be doing one round per video. And, oh god. If I win, I'm going to face Boo. Boo is my arch nem n n nemesis. And if this certain friend that I'm speaking to is watching this, then, and I'm sure he probably is, then, oh, he's going to love that match. And actually, I'm playing a very similar character to Boo right here, Paratroopa. Um, I'll get into the character differences 
more as we face different ones, but I'm playing as Mario, as you can see, and Mario is an all-around character. He and Luigi are the all-around characters. Um, there, there are how many different types? Four different types, maybe five. There's all-around, which is Mario and Luigi. There are speed characters who, of course, move very quickly, but they typically have pretty weak power. Ooh, I just let that one get away. Um, there are power characters who, of course, hit it hard, but they're typically rather slow. There are technique characters, who I honestly can't explain that much. So, I might have to get some help from people who know this game better to explain technique characters. And then there are tricky characters. A paratrooper over, over there is actually a tricky character, one of the two. Boo is the other one. And tricky characters tend to have a lot of spin on their, uh... Hits. Oh wow, he's moving right there. And they, like, they're, they're most dangerous when they're serving, and whenever they're serving, it, their serves tend to curve, and they can be hard to get to. Now, the hard part about using tricky characters is that they slip and slide a lot with their movements. Actually, I'm going to change the camera so that it's behind me at all times. This is difficult to play on the other side. You can do... Dynamic cam, if you want. Dynamic cam uh, kind of zooms in more on your character and fouls your character, but it's kind of annoying to play that way. It's cool to watch, but not very cool to play with. So I'm going to use player cam that will keep it behind me at all times. Uh, typically, actually, no, the, the camera changes quite a bit. I was going to say it's behind you whenever you're serving, and it's not behind you when you're not serving, but that's not true. Uh, um, it stays behind you for two different, for two games, and then it will go to the opposite side. Actually, oh crap. You know, I, I, I don't know my ter terminology of tennis, and to be perfectly honest, I have never played, never in my life if I actually played tennis. Well, no, I probably have in... Yeah, see, you can see their curve. It's kind of hard to get to. And how are we doing? 40, 15, okay. Like, I mean, I know how the game works. I know the rules and everything. But I've never actually played it. Actually, I'm running a match point. This is actually going to end pretty quickly before I can explain anything. I've never in my life played tennis. I just won. Could I? You know what? I was going to say that I'm going to get two matches per video, but because the Mushroom Cup is rather easy, and the early matches are uh, are short, they're actually just one set, the third match, the championship round, is three sets. And yeah, I will continue. So I'm going to do t two matches in this first video. And um, I'll do the championship in the next video. But yeah, I've never played tennis in my life. Probably once in high school PE class. But that's the only time I can recall playing tennis. And I can tell you right now that I would never be able to play it. I'm not very athletic of a person. And in general, I actually I really suck at sports games. So, yeah, I'm not good at this game. Don't expect me to be good. Like, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to get better. Because, I don't know, cause there's a friend of mine that I play this with a lot, and I've actually done a video with him. His name is Rory, and I um, actually did a video with him before on this channel, and he was actually playing his boo, so it's kind of funny that I'm playing him right now. And I want to be able to be more competitive against him, and actually give him, you know, like, stand more of a chance, and actually maybe win some matches against him, so that's kind of the point of doing this. And, I don't know, just because I thought it'd be fun. And plus, I do want to have a side project alongside the Twilight Princess. Just, you know, and plus, I haven't done a non-Zelda LP. And, uh, again, this isn't an actual LP, but still, like, a, you know, its own, like, series. See, that, that right there is where Boo gets you, and I guess Paratrooper as well. Remember the serving, it's so hard to get to it. See how it curves like that? Oh my god. I, I haven't even explained much of how the shots work in this game. So let's do that. Um, with the B button, you can do kind of a, a slice shot that has lower 
lower trajectory but doesn't bounce as much. And the A shot has more, uh, has higher tra trajectory, has more of an arc to it. And you can see with the orange trail, that is an A shot whenever I hit the A button twice, and a blue trail goes with the B button. God, I, yeah, I haven't explained a whole lot. And then, you may have seen a couple of times the purple trail, that is when you hit A and B at the same time, that is, shit, I forgot what it was called, but it's, it, it's a power shot, it's basically just like a kill shot. But there you go, first two matches already done, and yeah, it was just so easy that I didn't have much to explain there, it just went, so, went by so fast. But um, as we get into the more difficult matches, I'm actually going to save and quit right here. As we get into the more difficult matches, I will be able to explain this a lot better. It's just that these are going by so quickly that I don't have the chance to talk about the game. But, um... Trust me, this will get a lot harder, and I'm going to have a lot more trouble with this as we go, and probably by the time we get to the Flower Cup, because the Flower Cup's on, different, uh, on a different court. But, now let's save our game, and we won't have any files here. Eventually, I do, like, I don't know if I'm going to do it on-screen or off-screen, or off-screen, but I do want to try to unlock the other two characters. Once I complete the Star Cup, which is the third uh, tournament, uh, I will be unlocking one new character, but anyway, let's save again, I guess, just to make sure. Can I quit? I just, that's how you end, okay. So yeah, um, next time on Let's Mess Around on Mario Tennis, I will do the championship round of the Mushroom Cup, and hopefully I win. So this is Michael 27 and I will see you next time. Peace, guys.